And so let's just let's just establish here that you can find a hundred dollars latte breath. Let's establish that you could find a hundred dollars, Mr. and Mrs. Cable. You spend a hundred dollars on things you don't even realize you did it. You impulse more than a hundred dollars at Target every month, and you don't retire with a million dollars. That's no one's fault but yours. It's your fault. I'll guarantee you this. 95% of you listening to me right now do not do a unique written budget every month unique to that month. Almost no one does. Those that do, however, find all kinds of money that's being lost because your checking account is a freaking sieve. Money leaks out of it like you're sending it to Congress or something. And so let's just, let's just establish here that you can find $100 latte breath. Let's establish that you could find $100 Mr. and Mrs. Cable, you spend $100 on things you don't even realize you did it. You impulse more than $100 at Target every month. I think it's easy, if we sit here and discuss it a minute, to think about $100. Now, $100 is a lot of money, but $100 invested every month, every month, from age 25 to age 65, averaging 12% in a good growth stock mutual fund Roth IRA, is $1 million. $176,000. So if you're listening to this show and you are under 40 years old and you don't retire with a million dollars, that's no one's fault but yours. It's your fault in this country if you retire broke. It's your fault because you made a freaking fortune in your working lifetime. You work your butt off your whole life. And you have nothing to show for it. Nothing. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Average household income in America today is $50,000. If you say 15% of that, that's $7,500 a year. If you do that in, the decent, in your 401k with no match, into Roth IRAs, into good growth stock mutual funds, you would retire with around $7.5 million if you say 15% of your income. I don't know if I agree with your set of assumptions. Well, shut up unless you do something about it because my set of assumptions have made me rich. So why don't you use my set of assumptions instead of your set of assumptions because you're sitting on your assumption doing nothing. It's time for you to get up off your assumption and go save some money. Way past time. Don't you think? Some of you are walking around right now and your best shot at retirement is you're thinking, I sure hope the government, which is well known for its ability to handle money, will take care of me. Well, what a stupid butt plan is that? That's ridiculous. $100 a month saved from age 25 to age 65, is $1,176,000. There is no excuse for you to retire broke. 15% of the average household income in America saved from age 30 to age 70, age 25 to age 65. Average household income being 50,000, 15% of that being 7,500 is seven and a half million dollars. If I'm half wrong, it's $3 million. And let's just, let's just go with the assumptions here for a second, okay? Since we're talking about assumptions. I set you up in an average household income, and for 40 years you never got a raise using those numbers. Now let me help you with this. If you start at average and you don't get a raise for 40 years, you are a loser. Losers in our country can retire millionaires. Isn't that bizarre? That's how dynamic this economy is. And sit down and do a budget and look in the mirror at your immature self and say no so you can put a couple of hundred bucks away a month so you can retire with dignity instead of being a burden on society and on your children. You can't give to anybody because you're too freaking broke to help anybody else and you've got all these great ideas about how other people need help. You want to find out who needs help? Get you a mirror. You need help. It's time to save money, people. It's time to save money.